alongside the Serbian leader Slobodan Milosevic. Radovan Karadzic was the most influential political and military figure in the war that engulfed the former Yugoslavia in the early 1990s. Karadzic trained as a psychiatrist, but he was also a poet, and it was apparently the influence of a leading Serb nationalist writer that pushed him first into politics. But it was his own fierce nationalism and ambition that led to him establishing the Serbian Democratic Party, whose aim was to create a greater Serbia at a time when the former Yugoslavia was first crumbling. Speaking in the Bosnian parliament in 1992, Mr. Karadzic issued this stark warning about the consequences of Bosnia-Herzegovina seeking independence. Don't think you won't take Bosnia to hell and Muslim people perhaps to extinction because Muslims can't defend themselves if there is a war here. Maybe what I'm saying sounds like a grand statement, but major events require grand statements. How will you prevent everyone killing each other in Bosnia? But independence went ahead, and Mr. Karadzic's party declared his own state within a state, named as the Serbian Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, with Karadzic as its head. In the vicious war that followed, his forces, allied with Slobodan Milosevic, sought to seize as much of Bosnia as they could and destroy what they could not claim or keep hold of, including most famously the city of Sarajevo. I saw about 20 people lying on the street, you know. Everything was covered by blood. I saw a girl without legs. She was screaming, you know. I saw my professor on the street. She was asking for help. They wanted to buy a bread, you know. And the bomb killed them all. The 43-month siege of the city involved sniper fire on people moving around the streets and daytime shelling of civilians. Thousands died. Sarajevo became a powerful symbol of Karadzic's brutality. But there was more. According to the UN indictment against him, from April 1992, Karadzic and his followers carried out the systematic persecution of Muslims and Croats in Bosnia, killing and raping, and interning hundreds of thousands more in death camps. The phrase ethnic cleansing reappeared in Europe for the first time since the fall of Hitler's Third Reich. Interviewed by the BBC's Ben Brown soon after he was indicted in 1995, Karadzic was typically defiant. They tried to arrest not only me, but any single 